A jury in Florida ordered Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital to pay $261 million in damages to a family after the parents were accused of abusing their daughter and barred from seeing her during months of treatment. Maya, at the age of 10, was being treated for a complex regional pain syndrome at the hospital in 2016. Her severe pain led to an emergency room visit on October 7, 2016. During Maya's treatment, a child welfare agency doctor, specialized in detecting child abuse, evaluated her. Subsequently, the state issued an order, leading to Maya's extended stay in the hospital for about three months, despite the family's efforts to take her home. During this period, the family alleges that Maya was subjected to measures like isolation, restricted visitation, unwanted medical procedures without parental consent, and video surveillance. These circumstances, according to the family's complaint, worsened Maya's condition, leading to a regression in her health, the reappearance of lesions, and her eventual dependence on a wheelchair. The hospital defended its actions, stating that they were adhering to the state's orders following suspicions of medical child abuse, which led to restrictions on visitation. They claimed their compliance with the Florida Dependency Court's decision to shelter Maya on October 14, 2016, due to reasonable suspicion of abuse. However, the Kowalski family argued that they were following medical advice from a doctor who had previously treated Maya's pain syndrome. They contended that the hospital's actions, along with the accusations of abuse, caused extreme emotional distress, especially for Beata Kowalski. In a dependency court hearing on January 6, 2017, Beata Kowalski saw her daughter in person for the first time since Maya was admitted to All Children's Hospital, an attorney for the Kowalskis said. Maya was using a wheelchair and in worse shape than when she entered the hospital three months before. Maya's mother tragically took her own life less than 48 hours after seeing Maya in a worsened condition. Road is Lee Road. And then is there a name to the neighborhood? Kyle. What's the phone number that, you call, that you're calling from? Uh, I'll give you my cell. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, she hung herself in the garage. <laughs> no. Stay on the line. The court eventually discharged Maya to her father's custody on January 13, 2017, after the three-month hospital stay. The jury found in favor of the Kowalski family, awarding $261 million in damages for the emotional distress suffered by Maya and her late mother. The hospital, Johns Hopkins All Children's, has expressed intent to appeal the decision, emphasizing their adherence to state protocols concerning suspected child abuse. This process is expected to commence by the end of the year or early 2024, with the awarded sum on hold until the appeal concludes.